Hartford police appear to be, according to court papers uh, that we went through from the Hartford Superior Courthouse, this uh, to be a motive possibly involving a gun trade gone bad. We have three people uh, arrested uh, in connection with the homicide. Um, we have them on firearms charges. They have not been charged at this point with the homicide itself. Do you expect that they will be? We expect the charges to be updated. Those men, according to Hartford police, are Omari Barrett, Tyrese Duckworth, and Jaquan Graham. All of Hartford and all facing various felony gun-related charges. In the shooting death of 19-year-old Makai Buckley on Amherst Street, where police returned on Wednesday morning. Funny, comical, uh, very sincere, and very, very people-oriented person. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see so much love for him in the community. Brother Carl Hardrick, a longtime violence prevention activist in Hartford and mentor to countless youth in the city, is Buckley's grandfather, a man who has spent years consoling other families who've lost loved ones to violence. You know, in my head, knowing doing this for seven years at St. Francis and having to tell families the same thing that I'm about to hear, you know, I didn't want to accept it, but I knew in reality that it didn't look good. And then finally my daughter came out, you know, they allowed her to go in and when she came out, it was devastating. The freshman football player at American International College in Springfield wanted to be a trainer and played football for Capital Prep in Hartford. Brother Carl says his grandson had his challenges and he'll continue fighting for the Hartford youth. We have to look at how do we make the community well? How do we do better with young people? And we need more love. Best friend, little, I mean, I know he looked up to me in uh, many ways, you know what I mean? So I tried to like mold him into who he wanted to be, you know what I mean? Try to keep him out of the way. And tonight, also based on those court papers, we can tell you that the three men were found in a vehicle in the driveway at a home, at a property that abuts the one where this shooting occurred. So essentially right behind that house. Again, police investigating this according to paperwork that we read at the Hartford Superior Courthouse today. Some sort of gun exchange, gun trade gone bad. We are live outside the Hartford Public Safety Complex. I'm Jill Kanopka, Fox 61 News.